Zangena season. Zangena season. This year, Frank, you are my sounding board. This year, 2023, you will see Zambians, individuals, households, receiving more access to government resources than ever before since independence this year and going forward. Through the CEC, through CDF, social cash transfer, NAPSA partial payment. NAPSA partial payment. It's deliberate. We said it in opposition. It's not abracadabra. We argued our point, and we have delivered. It's all a combination of these measures. It's not one measure. It's a combination. Already, money is there. The doomsayers say, no, Agunamal. Ah, look, my friend, the numbers were crunched before the policy was put in place. And also, the fund size and liquidity size were dealt with. Now you issue a statement to the public, scaring the public to say, Ndala Mazasira is planning to these things. There's no pension fund that keeps every asset in cash. There are different portfolios of cash when you need, sorry, assets. When you need the cash, you then do what is necessary. Because in those categories, the assets sit, you earn revenue, not consumption. We are also clear to NAPSA that they, can, they should stop investing people's money in wrong areas, as was happening for years and years. But 20% partial withdrawal, Zangen. It is not a dream. It's there. My advice, our advice to the citizens, when you access that money, please invest in revenue generation. Build a small house so that you come out of renting. Then you save money. That's my advice. We all start from there. Frank, my first house, my peers were laughing at me. Was in Kalingaling. That's what I could afford after I invest. But my friends were laughing at me. I said, but you, you are laughing at me. You have nothing yourself. At least me have something in Kalingaling. Get a house. It doesn't matter where it is. It's your house. Young people, please invest in the correct things first. Don't invest in a BMW before you have a two-bedroomed house. Get your house first. Tamper your appetite for consumption. Then the country will be better, because we ask for things that are not necessary, create pressures on ourselves. On, and on the government, and on the family. That's my advice. 